So welcome back to the Bioptimizers Healing Health and High Performance Program. I'm your host, Wade T. Lightheart, and I'm here with my good buddy and business partner, Matt Gallant. Today we're going to talk about circadian rhythm. You might notice we're wearing these funky glasses. Now Matt, of course, is an expert in understanding, you know, we did the ones on sleep and some of the other videos, but today we're going to talk about these cycles that we're all subjected to, but today's world has really changed that, and there's some technology that can really make a difference to enhance healing health and high performance. And Matt, you want to talk about that today in circadian rhythms? What is that? What, what, what is that circadian rhythm people don't know? Well, first of all, let's go back a few million years. And uh, yeah, there was no lights, there was no electricity. So for millions of years, you know, human beings used the sun and basically went to bed or went to sleep when, the, when it was dark. And your eyes, I mean, you know, you can try it. I mean, try sleeping with no blinds, no blackouts. As soon as the sun hits your eyeballs, you wake up. Doesn't matter how tired you are. It's true. You know, it doesn't matter how much you slept or didn't sleep or you know, how much sleep you need. Uh, and of course, watch our sleep video because we talk about how darkness is critical. But bottom line is, as soon as the sun hits your eyes, your body wakes up. It's programmed to do so because of the millions of years of evolution. But let's, let's fast forward to today in the last, uh, you know, 100 years or so, we've got electricity and I mean, the lights never go off. Just go to Las Vegas, right? I mean, wow. go, to New York, go to New York City and uh, there's lights literally all the time, all the time. So for our, for our body, when it hits our eyes, the blue light that's in the lights, okay, there's this blue light and basically our body's not able to tell the difference between night and day, literally. Like it, for, for our bodies, it's thinking, man, the sun is just, here's the sun, the sun's still out there, I need to stay awake. So what we need now is technology to start telling our bodies that there is no blue light, it's okay to start getting uh, sleepy and fall asleep. So what we're wearing is blue light blockers. And uh, these are the best of the best. There's a lot of cheap knockoffs out there. So just, <laughs> I did the mistake of just going and buying $10 safety glasses that were orange because I thought it was going to do the trick. And uh, it, it seemed to be a little improvement, but these glasses that we're wearing right now, and the links are below, are, are far superior at blocking blue light. So a little, little caveat on that for our consumers. Like, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your performance, like, this is the one area you can't cheap out. There's nothing more expensive than a product that doesn't work. <laughs> and the reality is I see so many people coming to me and they say, well, wait, can I get this product? Can, there's a cheaper one or there's one that's kind of as good and maybe it doesn't give up, but, it, but I'm going to save some money. I mean, is that the biggest illusion in health that you're going to save money? I think so. Yeah. I mean, ultimately you want something. I've never gone wrong buying the best in class on any product, any time. And over time, it actually costs you less. Exactly. So, so again, and it's such an easy thing to do. Yeah. Get the best. Yeah, exactly. So we're talking about uh, blue light blocking glasses. You want to put them on about two to three hours before you, when you want to fall asleep. That's the key timeline because, uh, and, and for me, this has been the biggest upgrade I've ever made to my sleep program. Wow. And, and as you know, and wow. if you watch the sleep video, I'm, I'm, I've got all kinds of gadgets and things and upgrades. But in terms of quality of sleep, depth of sleep, there's nothing more effective than these glasses because I'm getting, I'm falling asleep faster, I'm getting sleepier earlier, and I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that, listen, I'm, I'm going to be on my phone at night. I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to be on my computer working, whatever. And I can stay up till 2, 3 in the morning, easy, anytime I want, because I just get really uh, stimulated by the lights. So without these glasses, I'm not falling asleep at midnight. I'm not falling asleep at 11. But with the glasses, at usually, I mean, it depends when I put them on, but I'll be yawning at 1030. Never, ever wow. in my life, ever. Have I yawned at 10.30 without these glasses? It's never happened. So, so, so let me ask you about the process. When do you put these on? Like, what time? When, when, when would well, I put if, these on? if you want to be sleeping at midnight, you put them on around 9. Again, two, three hours before. Okay. And uh, you'll notice, you'll notice with the yawning, to me, yawning is a good signal that they're working. And uh, I usually start yawning about 90 minutes after I warn them because, again, my body is thinking it's dark. You know, the, wow. sun, the sun's going down, it's time to start shutting down the machine. Right. 
And um, hopefully we don't fall asleep in this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so that's it. It's really a simple upgrade. Um, you know, and, and I wear them wherever. I've worn them on planes. I've worn them in Las Vegas, walking around the casinos. Nobody cared. Uh, you know, it, it again, like for me, when I travel, I try to stay in the same thing. Now, the, that's, that's the first piece of the circadian rhythm is preparing for sleep. Right. Here's the next piece, and this is a big one, and that's being consistent. Uh, this is one of the ones I struggle with. You know, I, I struggle going to the bed at the same time, but when I've done it, there's no doubt that your body locks into a rhythm. Right. You know, your body lo loves consistency, whether it's right. training at the same time, going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time. Yep. All these things will help keep your body in a really good groove. And uh, so, for an example, if you're going to bed at 11, 11, 11, 11, and then on the weekends, you're going to bed at 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, mm -hmm. that's going to throw certainly your circuit, circadian rhythms off kilter in a big way. And, and I feel it. I don't know about you, but I almost feel hungover. And I don't drink, right? I haven't drank in years. But a lot of times, if I go to bed really late, you know, the next day, I'm feeling hungover. And that, that's my circadian rhythm that's just, that's just blown gone, out. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, waking up at the same time is the next piece. Again, that so you want to try to go to bed at relative at the same time and relatively wake up at the same time, obviously with enough sleep. So watch our video. But it's one of these things where if one night you go to bed late, you didn't sleep that much, then the next day you, you're playing catch up. So it, there's a real price to pay when you start bouncing around. Right. But the first thing you want to do when you wake up is light. Right, so now we're going to the opposite because again, we want our bodies to say, Hey, it's daytime, wake right. up. Uh, so, obviously, open the curtains, you know, you know, that now you can pull up your phone, pull up your computer, do whatever. There's even technology now where it's earbuds that send light to your brain, in you know, it takes 12 minutes and it wakes you up by sending light to your brain wow. through your ears. Your huh. ear, light actually goes into your ears, folks, wow. not, not just your eyes. So, yeah, there's all kinds of technologies that help wake up the body. Again, kind of the opposite of these guys. One of the other things I think is important to understand with circadian rhythms is the impact of things like electronics and Wi-Fi zones and how this can uh, affect how the like, So imagine your cycle. The cells in your body run on an electromagnetic 24-hour clock, just like the planet goes around. And with electronic technology, a lot of people have Wi-Fi in their house or they're using electronics in their bedroom and that sort of stuff. And these emit frequencies that can interrupt the natural electromagnetic cycle inside your cells. So in today's world of digital technology, so one of the key things that you can do is at night, just turn your Wi-Fi off. And I know, um, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to do some demonstrations. I had a friend of mine who's an, uh, an expert on this. And just the way the house goes and the way these frequencies goes, there'll be certain areas in the house which would be like electromagnetic hot spots. And this has a powerful influx. So some people can't sleep or they don't know why or they get, maybe they sleep better in one area of the house and not the other and they can't figure out why that is. It has to do with electromagnetics or if they're traveling, they'll find places that are, it, that are off a little bit. So that's another thing to recognize um, if you're looking at things that could be upsetting that cycle or that rhythm inside your body. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So again, guys, make sure you watch our sleep video. There's a lot more stuff there yeah. and uh, invest in these glasses. It'll be the best investment you've ever made, in my opinion, in order to get your circadian rhythms in check. Well, thanks so much, Matt. I mean, you're always a wealth of information. You add so much to, uh, to my life and, and you've been a big influence and I hope you guys got some information from it. And of course, check out the links below that we got the glasses, we got all that sort of stuff. I'm A.T. Lightheart for Bioptimizers, healing health and high performance. We'll see you on the next lesson.